All right, Cole's going in for redemption. This is a nice one. Uh, oh, Ooh, we got him in the boat. Yeah. yeah, baby. That's a big one. You can do it, Jay. That's a giant bullfrog. Oh, oh get in the boat, get in the boat, in the boat. In the boat, in the boat, in the boat. Yes, yes. What's up guys, welcome back to the channel. It's Cole and Jay. In today's video, we're gonna be taking y'all out on the lake chasing after some giant bullfrogs. Woo! We're gonna be catching them with fishing rods as well as with our bare hands. If y'all came clicking on this video looking for the best frog in action on the internet, you came to the right place because Jay puts on an absolute clinic. Woo! They don't call me Jiggy Jay for nothing. And they don't call me the claw for nothing. <laughs> We absolutely smoked some frogs in this video and we hope you guys are excited to watch this footage from the last spring. If you are, do us a huge favor, hit that like button. Let's try to get this video all the way to 3,000 likes. And if you haven't done so already, subscribe to the channel so you don't miss out on any of our future frog in action. Now with all this being said, let's jump right into the video. Let's go. We got this. <gasps> no freaking way! Yeah, baby! Yes. First frog of the night. First drop. He couldn't resist it. Look at that. Turn your light off. Oh. Sorry guys, we gotta turn my light off. Whoa! Nice! Check it out guys. First frog of the night. We may have gone anywhere hardly. First grass mat. Big old bullfrog. Look how big those legs are. Big old sucker. And look at that right there, hooked right in the mouth. <laughs> Couldn't resist the little hand-tied little hair jig. I locked on another big in. Give me the boat, give me the boat, give me the boat, give me the boat, give me the boat. Yeah. Got him. Check it out. This frog just jumped right on my jig. Yeah, he, there was no messing around with that jig that time. <laughs> sometimes you put the jig down and they kind of get scared of it, but sometimes they just gobble it. And that he did. Hold him a little closer so I can see him real good. Look at that jig in his mouth. Woo! That is frog jigging at its finest right there. And this is just too much fun. <laughs> In the boat, yes! Got another good one. Smoked him. <laughs> another big one. Do you see the stuff we just paddled through to get to this one too? Look at how tall this grass is. It's like the same level as the canoe. <sighs> Gotta love it. Big old fish. Big old fish. <laughs> He's still there. He's still there. He's still there. Oh, he's got a mouthful of grass. He's a nice one. Oh, I don't know how he's still there. He ate the crap out of it. Come on, frog. Oh, oh my gosh. Dang. Oh, he had it in his mouth. Just gotta let, him, let him eat it. Got him! Yes. 
Yeah, buddy. Look at him. <laughs> that dude bit it and came out I the water and didn't it. he didn't even go away. He just stayed there. He just stayed there. We got him in the net though. Snatched him! That's a good one. Woo. Check it out! First frog! That's a big one. <laughs> nice one, Jay. Thanks. It's a little bit sketchy. I hit, I hit myself him. in the face with my light. And you, it hurt really bad, but oops. I got him. <laughs> yep. So it's a little bit sketchy reaching over the side of the canoe to grab these frogs. They're kind of tipsy. It's probably like using that jig pole, but y'all want to see some hand grabbing action. And uh, we wanted to show it to you. So there it is. Nice frog, Jay. Thanks. So we'll do a little handoff. Oh, yeah. Woo. Look at that. Look at those big old froggy <laughs> legs. All right, Jay. Yeah! Yeah, baby! That's a big one. Yeah, we just got back here to the mother load. There's so many frogs out here calling. Woo. Listen, guys, I'm listen. I'm so excited. Listen. I literally see. I literally see six pairs of eyes right here within 20 feet of us. That's get wild. <laughs> Got him! Got him! Woo! Barely good. That's a biggin. <laughs> that is another certified uh, biggin. Wow. Voila! Here you go. I will. I will take that there frog from you, ma'am, <laughs> and I will put him into the cooler. Oh, he's big. Oh, you did get him. That was I a head grab. I don't know if you're gonna get him. That was a head grab. <laughs> no, I got him in the back. Dang, that's a nice grab. That's a really nice grab. Your girl's got skill, Cole. You do have skill. <laughs> wow. Wow. The perfect grab. The perfect grab. A double grab! <laughs> I grabbed them both the exact same way. Look at that. That is awesome, Cole. <laughs> yeah. Good job. Dang. I think it's my first like really good double grab like that. That was awesome. That was super awesome. That was epic. It is so loud out here with frogs. <laughs> That's awesome. We're on our way back and uh what? He's got a crawfish in his mouth. He's got a crawfish in his mouth. Dude, look at that. That thing has a crawfish in his mouth. That is so wild. Good job, Jay. 
Let's head back to the house. Yeah, I think this is going to be the last frog of the night. Whew. I have no idea how many frogs we have. This cooler, I believe, is full. All right, guys, we've got our eyes on our first bullfrog of the night. Looks to be a pretty good sized one. As you can see, I've got my little crappie jig ready to go. I've got my light on the frog. And all you gotta do is you just gotta pitch the jig right to his face, and most of the time they're gonna bite it. And you just set the hook like you're fishing. Okay, here we go. Oh my god. Ooh, ooh, he wanted it. You missed me. Oh. Oh, 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 he wants it bad. Can't get it. Oh. oh my goodness, what you doing? Woo! <laughs> we got him. <laughs> Here we go, guys. Jay is going in. Can't you get that? Oh, oh smoked him. Oh. Smoked him. That's what I'm Yay. talking about. I got him. <laughs> Woo! -hoo, that's what I'm talking about. That was First epic. cast of the night for me. Yeah, so we've had three frogs and all three of them been very, very receptive to the crappie jig. Yeah, they can't resist it. <laughs> can't Dang, resist. that was so much fun. That was really cool. <laughs> all right, Cole's going in for redemption. This is a nice one. Uh, oh! Ooh, we got him in the boat, we got him in the boat. <laughs> oh my gosh. Oh, I got you. You got him? I got him. I got him. Woo! Nice one. Got him. And so we could just as easily, you know, work our way up to these frogs, and we could just grab them or gig them or doing like that. But there's just something special about catching them on a crappie jig with a fishing pole. It's just a lot of fun. I mean, you might miss more than you traditionally would with other methods, but it's sneaky and it's fun. Okay, we've got another frog. I don't know why this makes me so nervous. I get so excited, I start shaking. Be cool. Yeah, keep my cool. Ooh. Ooh. You oh, got it's him! Barely hooked. Barely hooked. Oh, get him in the boat! <laughs> yeah! <laughs> there you go. <laughs> barely. I saw him just barely knit that thing. I was like, I think he's got it. I'm going for it. Perfect. Perfect little nose hook action. Okay, this is something that we had to be very careful and watch out for while we're out here frogging. That is a water moccasin, a cotton mouth, and. You do not want to reach your hand down in the water when he's right there. Okay, we just spotted that cotton mouth and now we've got a big frog right in the same vicinity. Will he eat the jig? Jay has not missed a frog yet tonight. Don't jinx me. <laughs> oh. oh. You jinxed me! Why would you say that? <laughs> what is wrong with you? <laughs> I'm I, doing so good. I was very confident you were gonna catch them, but that guy sniffed out the bait and he swerved us. Oh. That's all right. Maybe we'll catch cottonmouth on a jig next. Um. <laughs> <laughs> let's uh, let's keep meandering our way through the grass mat and hopefully we'll get another shot at one. <laughs> tried to take the little jig away with him. Gotcha, buddy. We've got a huge bullfrog up in front of us. I just paddled through an enormous mat to get over here to him. Hopefully Jay can stick the landing with this one. This is definitely the biggest of the night. We do not want to spook him. <gasps> he wants it. You can do it, Jay. That's a giant bullfrog. Oh, ooh, he's just missing it. Is it in his mouth? In his mouth, jerk it. Oh, okay, never mind. Okay, he wants it bad. This is a huge frog. This is crazy. Oh, 
the boat. Get in the boat. Get in the boat. Get in the boat. In the boat. In the boat. Yes. Yes. Oh my God. He's heavy. That is crazy. Yeah, baby. <laughs> That was awesome. That was really cool. That is by far. I was far, like shaking. I was so excited. I wanted him so bad. Yeah, that is by far the largest bullfrog of the night. Wow. Good job, Jay. Now that is redemption right there. You missed a couple that were probably that size, but you finally got that really big one we've been looking for. Oh my gosh, guys. There's a humongous broad banded water snake right here. Oh my gosh, it's huge. Oh my gosh, he's massive. He's massive. Holy cow. Okay, here we go. Got him. Whoa! Got him. Whoa! Got him. Oh, he's got You almost flipped the boat. <laughs> oh! Whoa! Let me get that grass off so you can see him. He has something big in his belly. Oh my gosh, guys. Look at the size of that broad banded water snake. Oh my goodness. We've look seen some, we've seen it. We saw a really nice cotton mouth there. And this guy looks very much like a cotton mouth, but this is a non venomous species. But look at that lump. In wow, his belly, guys. Look at the colors on him, too. That dude is gorgeous. I saw his head just peeking up out of the grass, and we went past him. I was like, oh, we gotta back up and see if we can catch him. Here, now, let me see the belly. Yeah, look at the belly. Now, we don't wanna try to agitate him too much because we don't want him to regurgitate whatever that is he ate. And I would almost suspect that that could be a bullfrog yeah. in his belly just because of how bulgy and how big it is. Maybe if I can feel it. It doesn't feel like a fish, it feels like a frog. That could be a huge frog in that snake's stomach. Wow. Wow, what an amazing specimen. This is a really good size, a really healthy individual. So we're going to gently release him back into the lake so we can get back to hunting some more of these giant bullfrogs. See ya. Had to go a little subsurface on that when he started <laughs> dipping down on me. <laughs> he has some in his belly. Looks like a crawfish or something. Oh wow. Really cool. Okay, so what we're doing to find these bullfrogs is, well obviously we're listening for them. That's what got us out here in the first place. But out here there's a bunch of lily pads and there's scattered grass mats. And most of these frogs are congregating to these isolated grass mats. Like each one is having like upwards of like five to six frogs per grass mat. So we're shining our lights around, we're looking for eye shine, that's how you can find the frogs. You can very clearly see their eye, it's like the size of a marble reflecting back at you. And then we're just paddling up to them, keeping our lights on, trying to keep it right in their eyes, it blinds them, and then you can get real close and snatch them up. So, I mean, there's tons of ground to cover, there's frogs literally everywhere you turn. So we're gonna put this guy in the cooler and we're gonna continue on our search to see how many more frogs we can get. Redemption, there's another one. Oh, oh. I was too slow. I was too slow. Closing in. Closing in. Can we reach it? Can she do it? Hang on. Woo! <laughs> she said, hang on. Hang on, I might <laughs> flip us. <laughs> This is so much fun. Yeah, this is a blast. Definitely worth getting out of bed for. Oh yeah. That's a big, big frog. Grab him. Grab him. There's a huge Grab him. frog. Grab him. Grab his big head. <laughs> Whoa, she got him. <laughs> got he is huge. That might be the biggest of the night. <laughs> Go. Wow. Wow, this is definitely the biggest one of the night. Holy smokes, guys. Look at the size of that bullfrog. Wow. Good snack, Jay. Wow. He almost pulled you in. <laughs> I know. <laughs> That's a big one. That's a big one. Woo! Got him! 
That's what I'm talking about. That is a really nice one. That's All right, this is an awesome one to end our frog catching adventure for the night. Um, the wind is really starting to pick up. There's a storm that's about to come through, so we got to get out of here, but we got a bunch of frogs. Yeah, we barely put a dent in them. There's still a ton I of frogs know. out here, so we're just going to let them get back to doing what they're doing. We're going to leave them alone and uh, we're gonna get back to the house. All right guys, it's lunchtime and it's time to cook these frogs up. This morning I cleaned our catch. We had 10 frogs exactly, so we have 20 individual frog legs in the bowl. They, they've been soaking in the fridge for the last couple of hours in the salt water brine and they are ready to be fried up. We've got our fry daddy here. It is heating up and we have all of our ingredients, our essential ingredients. We have some fish batter we're gonna use to fry the frogs in. We got a little bit of milk to kind of make, make it super crunchy and good and then we have our frogs. So let's show you guys how this is gonna work. We're gonna start just by throwing these frog legs into this bag. Shake off all the water. We'll just throw a few in there to start off with. Look at that, guys. Looks like a little chicken leg. And we are going to shake those up, get them lightly coated. And then we are, I'm gonna move these over. And then we're going to pull the frog legs out and we're gonna set them in this little milk bath I've created right here. This is just regular 2% milk, nothing crazy. I'm gonna lay them all out and then I'm gonna flip them around in there so they get a coating of milk on top of this batter, okay? So I'm just gonna just flip it over, just like that. This is gonna get kind of sticky, so you can use tongs if you want to, but we're just going all in today. Okay, and then we are just simply gonna return these back into our gallon Ziploc bag. And I like to do just a few at a time, just because if you put a whole bunch of frogs in there at once, there's a good chance that they're not gonna all get evenly coated. And then we're, just, so now we're just gonna mix them all back up again. So those are in there. I think our grease is ready to rock and roll, so we'll just go ahead and we'll just start cooking them. Let's add our frog legs. Oh yeah. All right, lunch is ready. Let's see how well these frog legs turn out. They sure do look good. They got yeah. a full outer crispy layer. We've got the sweet potato fries, the green beans. We got it all going on in our plates right now. Got sweet tea, some Mountain Dew, and it's <laughs> everything you need for a good lunch. So let's dig in these frog legs and see how well they taste. Here we go, guys. Look at that, just like a little drumstick straight from the lake. <laughs> It's like a little swamp chicken. That's what I would, that's what I would, that's what I would say that this tastes like. It tastes like a swamp chicken. Well, I haven't tasted it yet. We'll see if it tastes like That's what it normally it tastes like. It looks like a swamp chicken. Let's see if it tastes like <laughs> Here we go. Oh my. Mmm. <laughs> mm hmm. If you've been watching our channel for a while, you know when we do these taste tests, we get to like moving around, head bobbing, swaying. Wow. That's good. Otherwise, we're just kind of like. Ugh, gross, but. This is really, really good. Really good. Frog legs. Dang, forget chicken. Yeah, frog legs are one of our favorite things to eat. Um, one of the best things you can actually go out and harvest out in the lake, and it's it's awesome. And it's great, you know, this is the time you get to do it. They're not out all the time. So we're definitely trying to make the most of this frog in season while they're out there. Definitely tastes like a swamp chicken. <laughs> Oh my gosh, guys, we are missing the sweet taste of fresh frog legs, AKA swamp chicken, so bad right now. <laughs> We're currently covered up in about a foot of snow, yeah. but spring is right around the corner. In less than two months, the season opens and we'll be able to go back out on the lake and chase after some more fresh, Ooh. big bullfrogs. Yeah, I cannot wait for spring to get here, and you guys are definitely not gonna wanna miss out on this year's frog catching action. But thank you guys so much for watching today's video. If you enjoyed it, be sure to hit the like button for us and subscribe to our channel so you don't miss out on any of our future outdoor adventures. We're, We're calling Jay, and we'll catch you on the next episode. Bye, guys.